So now we're here with leading lady, Javicia Leslie. You look stunning tonight, as always. Thank you so much. You look beautiful and fresh. Thank you. Yes. Oh, yeah, I feel fresh. I was telling my makeup artist, he's like, what look do you want? I'm like, I'm not fresh. Like, I always usually go for, like, dramatic. And I feel like we're both, like, in that similar, yes. like, just simple and pretty and fresh. Like, yes, you look beautiful. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> you have that light energy. You always have Thank that. You. Thank you. Yes. Same. And it's beautiful you. that you've, like, protected that. You know what I mean? And I just want to dive right into it because I said leading lady. Walk us through the steps even behind behind the scenes that it takes to become a leading lady in TV and film. A lot of people talk about the technique and what's going on on screen. What about behind the scene? What, what, at what point in your career was it a pivot or was it beforehand where you were like, I know I want to be a late leading lady, but did you have a moment where you're like, okay, it's time to put that gear into go mode and really go for it? I don't think that I ever did it because I wanted something very specific. I think that I just wanted to be great at anything I put my mind to. Um, I didn't come into this industry to be half-assed. I didn't come into this industry to only give a portion of what I have to offer. I want to give all of what I have to offer because it's my purpose. Um, and I think that then that comes with being a leading lady for a project, but I don't always have to be that either. I just want to be a part of the storytelling. Um, and then it's interesting because I was literally having a conversation today about this journey and how if you were to listen to other people tell you that the statistics don't add up, you probably won't make it, Like, yeah. then I wouldn't be where I'm at. Exactly. So giving everything and just trusting in God and just like trusting and believing in yourself, that's probably the journey I've taken when it comes to where I'm at you know, and being a leading lady. It was never specifically that. It was just like, I want to give everything to this. Yeah, and what's the importance of the American Black Film Festival honors? Necessary. We don't have this. I think that... We, to be able to take the time to honor our greats, to give them a stage, to speak life into us, really, because that's what I always get excited about the most when I come to this, is what they're gonna say. They get to speak about their obstacles. They get to speak about you know, their journey. And that always inspires me to keep going. So I love this night. I literally will email like, when is ABFF? Like January 1st, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? When is ABFF this year so I can block out the day and make sure that I'm here because it's necessary for me to be here and to be filled with all of what I get filled with when I come here. I love that. And it's so beautiful how you support your peers as well. It's like all if it's it. your night, it's your night. But if it's somebody else's night, you're like, I'm still there to show up. It's all of our nights. We're all winning. Always. <laughs> always. I, like, this is honestly an honor to even be in here. You know what I mean? So I just, I just want to like, fill my mind, fill my spirit, fill my heart with everything that they have to offer tonight.